guys and welcome back to another video brought to you by Advanced Excel Training. We're going through everything that you need to know for the MRS Excel Expert Exam. Remember to hit the like button and to subscribe to see more Advanced Excel Training videos. In this video, we're going to learn how to use another what if analysis tool called Scenario Manager. A scenario is a set of values that Excel can substitute into your worksheet. You can also create a summary report to compare your different scenarios. You can use the following procedure to add a scenario. Select the data tab from the ribbon. Then select what if analysis. You can then choose scenario manager. In the scenario dialog box, you can see that a scenario has already been added. To create a new scenario, select add. In the Edit Scenario dialog box, enter a scenario name. In the Changing Cells field, enter or select the cells to be used in the scenario. You can enter a comment if you want and protect the scenario by checking the Prevent Changes or Hide box. The Scenario Value dialog box shows the cells you selected. For each subsequent cell, Enter the new scenario value. You can select Add if you want to create another set of values. When you are finished adding all the possibilities, click OK to return to the Scenario Manager. On the Scenario Manager dialog box, you can click Show to see the different scenario results. You can change your scenario values by selecting Edit on the Scenario Manager dialog box. For each subsequent cell, enter the new scenario value. To view a report, select Summary, then indicate whether Excel should display a scenario summary or a scenario pivot table report. Select the cell that contains the results you want to compare. Then click OK. Excel will display the results in your selected format. And that is how you can use Scenario Manager. It's a great way to swap multiple sets of data and compare them side by side. This technique can help you analyze the implications of several possibilities. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. And remember to subscribe to the channel to see more awesome advanced Excel training videos. In the next video, we'll learn how to use the cube functions. Thank you for watching another video brought to you by Advanced Excel Training. I look forward to hosting you in the next video. I'm Deborah Gray. Until next time, happy advanced Excel training.